Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Miranda and on this channel we do two art subscription boxes, sometimes more if I dig into my stack of old ones. And then I like to play with watercolors. However, this month we are doing Inktober and this thing I made up called Productive Over. This is the calendar I made up for that and all of these little tabs of things to do and ideas were on every day that I was going to be home. Well, you can see how well that went with the exception of like four, which were just ideas for later. None of that got done, but stay tuned in this video and I'll show you what I did get done so far. All right, first of all, can we just say, wow, there is so much there that I will never run out of things to do. <laughs> it was kind of funny because I was a little bit afraid to start my YouTube channel because I thought, oh, I'm gonna run out of ideas and things to do so quickly. And I have not even really gotten into, I made like a page and maybe a half or a third of just video ideas. And I've gotten to do maybe two of those ideas. And there's all this other stuff that just keeps piling in that I wanna do instead. And so I will never ever run out of video ideas on this channel. So that makes me feel better. I hope it makes you feel better. So. If you like these kind of videos, you know, the kind you see on my channel because you haven't seen anything in this video yet, but if you like the kind of videos you see on my channel, go check it out, then consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. Thank you to my existing subscribers too, by the way. You guys are awesome. I love reading all your comments and all this stuff that's coming up this week. That's probably not going to happen either, but let's just get into today's video. I'll show you what I did get done. Well, since I saw you in Friday's video, what I have done is release that video on Friday. That took several hours still that day. And then Saturday was my son's 19th birthday, one of my three sons. And my oldest son came up from Denver where he lives and visited. That was really nice. So I did have to like clean the house, pick things up because we had a bunch of close friends and family over. People we've hung out with since COVID, so no big deal there. And had his birthday party so that was really fun but that took the whole day. I did get up super early that morning like three o'clock though and I worked on this little painting that you're seeing here and I decided because my reference photo looked so cool it reminded me totally and immediately of alcohol inks. So you can see I have these little silicone cups that I pour some of the alcohol ink into. I believe they're actually for tattoo artists but they work really well. They keep the alcohol ink from evaporating too quickly and they keep it well contained. You can see the base of those containers is really wide so they don't spill. Like I couldn't get them to spill by knocking them. I mean, you'd have to knock them pretty hard, which you know I could do considering I just spilled an entire glass of liquid here on my desk a few minutes ago, but hey, whatever. So this is from the book Dune by Frank Herbert. This is one of the book covers and I really, really liked it. And I'm also using the walnut marker that I got from the palette full packs. I used a lot of that stuff this week. Moving right on to day 14, which is armor. I saw this really cute photo reference of this cat dressed up in some armor and I just had to do that. So once again, I'm pulling out some of the supplies from the palette full packs box. I'll link that up in the I card for you guys. So you'll have that video if you haven't seen that already. This is that walnut ink, like I said, and I'm just using a dip pin with it and just kind of going over my little sketch. This was really fun and easy to sketch. I don't know, I find scales pretty easy to do. I just, they're a little tedious, I guess. So, and you know, the trick and whatever with these dip pens is to get your shading and stuff. So I didn't do a great perfect job on the shading. I just am a little bit under, I don't know, under motivated this year with Inktober. You can tell if you've seen my other Inktober videos from the previous years, those are pretty high caliber sketches for the most part. And these ones this year are just more relaxed, more easygoing. And part of me thinks that's really not fair to you guys or to me, but I started this challenge and I have to finish it. So there's day 14 armor. Kind of like it actually. It's not too bad. The day 15 prompt was outpost. And I knew from the minute I saw that, that I wanted to do something Western related cowboys and Indians, that kind of thing. So I found this reference of this really cute, I don't know, I guess it's an outpost. It says Stagecoach. I don't think it said Stagecoach Express actually on my reference photo and I took a bunch of stuff out of the reference photo. So I guess I kind of made it my own, but hey, that's what you're supposed to do, right? <laughs> and once again, I used the walnut ink from the palette full packs box and the dip pen. Just seemed like the perfect color, first of all, for this prompt and I don't know, dip pens are really, really fun to use. 
I had one malfunction with it there on the E. I just dabbed it up with paper towel and it actually kind of looks cool. I might want to go back and blur some of this ink again later with some water because it does come up again with water. So putting in some cloud looking things, some bushes, some little mountains in the background and that's pretty much what I ended up with there. Kind of like it. Very simple. And sadly, we now have to move on to the disaster of one. I just do not like the way this turned out. I'm not going to redo it. However, I just don't want to. Like, there's nothing really I could think of really inspiring for the prompt rocket, which is what this is, by the way. And I just didn't draw it out completely, and I should have, I don't know, I should have maybe put some of this ink into a little bowl and diluted it a little bit. But this is mostly that sketch box ink that I used in one of the previous prompts for radio. I pulled out those, and then just to get some lighter colors, I have the, what do you call it, the Copic markers. And then I put this ink on my fingers and smear it around, trying to get some definition in the planet below. Uh, it's just not, it's not good. I don't know. I don't like it. But hey, the good news is we always have another prompt to do to redeem ourselves, right? So on this one, I just really wanted to pull out the brush again because I had a really fun idea. You can see I've sketched in a very simple little umbrella. I am wetting this paper. It is still the Bristol paper that I've been using the whole time. It doesn't like water, but I don't care. I'm using it anyway. <laughs> and I believe it was the turquoise and the primary red that I pulled out. And you can see I sprinkled it very gently over the wet area. Well, it doesn't matter because if it's dry, it's not going to stick. So you just blow that part off. And now I'm just redefining my umbrella. So this prompt is storm. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that. Day 17 is storm. So then I put a little bit of that same red in my dish, water it down so that I can kind of line my umbrella and get that back. And this is something I'd like to play with a little bit more. I think it turned out pretty cool, but I think I could definitely refine it and do it even better. And I need to make that shadow area in that far back end a little differently, but I really, really like this one and I definitely want to do more with Brusho. Do any of you use Brusho? I would love to know. It's not light fast though, so you have to be careful, I guess, how you use it. But that concludes this month's, well, up to October 20th of Productive Ober and Inktober. And right now my Productive Ober is just doing my Inktober because I have so much going on in my life, apparently. I'm finding it very hard to be productive on anything but just these. And you can tell I'm behind. Today, this video is coming out on the 20th and I only finished through the 17th in this video, so yeah, I still have a few things. But I have a really great idea for Trap and Dizzy. Haven't even looked at the prompt coral yet, but you know, we're getting there. Thank you so much for joining me today. Like and subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in the next video. Productive Ober. Productive Ober. <laughs> Should not have named it that.